I just updated the website and we closed the fifth year where Larsen Line has absolutely smashed it in the markets. That's a mathematical fact. And in actual forward testing, not doing the model to fit the data backwards, because anyone can do that. It's much harder to do a model that actually works into the future, as Plan B and many others have now discovered. And 2022, for me personally, has probably been my most successful year professionally ever. Everything has completely exceeded all expectations. And to round it off, even the grapes are the size of plums. Mm. And tasty too. But as I've said many times, success is a dangerous spot. That's where you start getting lazy. That's where you start doing stupid things. That's where, if you don't watch out, what took you to that point might not take you further. We need to qualify every day, not live on past achievements. Deep rest and recovery is essential for the highest level of performance. There's a lot of research on that. So do take the time to really recover and get new energy. But then it's time to get up from the hammock. Let's keep studying, let's keep learning, let's keep listening, let's keep improving and be even better in 2023 than we were in 2022. Let's first hear an insight that I think will make you better at selecting companies to invest in in 2023. Let's go! Looks great! Voila! Voila! Guys, you need to come here. He's a very good guy and we have a very good place. <laughs> they need to say Happy New Year with the bubble. Happy New Year! <laughs> you need to be here, right? Very Why do you say small boss then? We're the big boss. <laughs> I am small. I am small because without them we cannot. That's true. So guys, here I'm with Oreste, who is Correct. the GM for this amazing resort. Thank you for the amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you did something yesterday that really stopped me mm. in my steps. And uh, I think the audience will be very interested in hearing it. Okay. Again. So my story is very simple. My name is Oreste. I am Italian. I am the GM of Novotel Fukok, which is in Vietnam. And I met our very good client, which they have two beautiful baby. And you know, we were talking together. And now it's New Year. I mean, not yet, soon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the good thing is, I mean, when we do this job, we speak with the guests. So our job is to listen to the people. If we don't listen to the people, it's not good. So we were talking together and this primary need is at what time the children they can eat. Yes, it is New Year, so normally we start the buffet very late because we want to reach one hour before midnight in order to push the people to the party. Yeah. So the forecast was to open the buffet at 7.30, but when we had a chat together, it was very uncomfortable for him to wait until 7.30. Not for him, for the children. So what we did, we changed the plan. So we opened the restaurant at 6.30. So you did two things that I think is very impressive. One mm. is that you listened to the customer. We said that probably doesn't work for us because 7.30 is too late. The children are too tired, yeah. they can't eat. Then the next day you came and you had changed your mind and you changed the whole plan for the whole Client. resort's New Year party. And it's not a small operation you run here to change something like the New Year party. How many people do you have working here? 300. 300 people. And you're right, it's not a normal, it's not a small operation. So even though you need to change, for example, from 7.30 to 6.30, the timing of the restaurant, it requires a lot of explanation because you need to prepare the planning in advance. You need to prepare the food production in advance. When you have a plan A and then you need to move to plan B, wow, amazing. <laughs> and actually, thanks to him, a lot of family, they are happy. So, the scope was to try to meet the consumer need, which is children, eat very early, in order to give the opportunity to the family to be there. And when I explained that to the team, the team was very happy actually, <laughs> because in effect they can split the flow of the guest in longer time. So we avoid the queue and we avoid people to be rush. How long have you been doing this job? Working with Accor from uh, since 20, 2000, so almost 22 years. <laughs> 23, 
soon 23. I think there are two learnings in this. One is to actually listen to the customer because who knows, they might be right. <laughs> <laughs> they are right. The second one is that you can change the plan and adopt. Most leaders can't do that. They have made a plan and they will stick to it. They will not listen, really. But the best leaders do. The most important things I learn during my my experience is to listen to the people. <laughs> if you don't listen to the people, well, firstly, you don't learn your job. Client needs, they change all the time. They change by week, by typology of client, by nationality. You know, we have different nationality. Asian people, they eat very early. European people, they eat very late. You need to try to adapt yourself. That is the most important thing I can say. We need to listen to the people. <laughs> That's why we have two year and one month. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't know who I am? You did, no. No, it's not, you didn't do it for the YouTube channel or anything. Like, and also, this is not sponsored, guys. We're paying for the room full out. I'm just really impressed. <laughs> it's my good client. I didn't know him. No, but it's not matter to have a VIP. We have a client. All the guests, they, are, they need to receive the correct service. If we listen and we find the difficulty, we need to try to find out how we can resolve the problem. If you got the experience, you will come back. You will remind us here. And we will, for sure. Buon anno, ragazzi. Happy New Year. The reason this lesson is so relevant for 2023 is this. Most tech companies never had a working business model. They were never able to build something that customers liked or needed so much that they were willing to pay more for it than it cost the company to produce the product or service. Building something great that customers love so much that they want to pay for it is hard, super difficult. Most tech companies could never do it. Yet they rose to valuation of hundreds of millions or billions or tens of billions. How? Because of this. For the past 13 or so years, during this entire bull run, Nasdaq has run in a straight line up on the logarithmic chart. A reasonable bet was that this line just continues. So the real business model of most of those founders was never to sell the product or service and make money that way. Their real business model was to sell the company to someone else who was willing to pay more for it. Then you just need to create an appearance of usage. And that's much easier. You just take in VC money and run enough Facebook and Google ads. Then a percentage of those people will sign up. Then you don't really need to listen to customers much because the customers were never the real business model. And the reason this worked so well was that capital and liquidity was practically free. Interest rates were zero. Weighted cost of capital was very, very low. You didn't need to be a genius because this just went in a straight line up. And for clarity, a straight line on the log chart just means it increases by the same percentage every year. Now I think that era is over. At least for this time. If you come with a fake business model today, you'll find it much harder to find an EVC that throws money on you with the expectation of selling the company to some other schmuck later for even more money. Now, I think the companies that survive will be companies with actual customers for their product or service. And the customer is someone who pays to use the service as opposed to a user that uses it for free. Many people in the tech industry seem confused on this topic. And I think it will be very hard, perhaps impossible, for many of those old tech companies to change their culture that they've built over years or perhaps a decade of not really focusing on the customer. The few that will remain will be leaders who do exactly what Mr. Oreste Traetto did here. A seasoned general manager with 22 sorry, 23 years of experience. Those few leaders that will remain will do two things. Number one, listen to the customer. Number two, actually adopt to those customer requirements. Being customer focused is tough. The night after that amazing New Year party in Phu Quoc, Vietnam, Mr. Oreste was up again early in the morning welcoming everyone to the breakfast 
And when things got really rushy that morning, he started serving customers himself. A great leader walks in front, instead of shouting from the back. And listening is one thing. Taking feedback. Everyone can do that and say, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sorry, we'll change for next time. But actually listening to the customer and taking in the information and changing the offering from plan A to plan B, that not many people will do. When looking for companies to invest in, the leadership of the company is critical. Everyone knows that. Just look at Twitter. One person changed, then suddenly the company shipped more functionality in a few weeks than they've done during the past 10 years. With what? Half the staff or 20% of the staff? Leadership matters, and the type of leadership required going forward I think will be different in 2023 onwards than what we've seen during the past decade. Is it yummy or is it yucky? Yummy. Is it yummy or is it yucky? Yummy. Fish? No. It's yummy. I wake up. If you haven't tried Vietnamese chaka, do I pronounce it right? Chaka? You definitely need to do it. It's possibly the best fish dish in the world. And as it turns out, because we requested an earlier start, there's a lot of families with children here. I think they capture the larger share of the business as a result. And I will be a loyal customer for life. It was amazing. Thank you. I appreciate the guys. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Tak. CTO Larson out. Hey, do. The location is really very nice. Amazing, guys. Very happy. Highly recommended by CTO Larson. Novotel Phu Quoc Resort in Vietnam. Go there.